He has been suffering from anxiety and depression for nearly a year now. He goes to college and when he comes home, straight back to his room and hides from his fears. He hates going out from the fear of having his panic attacks. When he feels like he's going to have a panic attack, he leaves the situation and says he'll come back another day. But he never does. It affects his college work, social life and has destroyed his confidence. He doesn't want to do anything but sit in his room and think about how sad he feels. He doesn't know what he's going to do to make things go back to what they were. He's sick to the back of his teeth and just wants change but nothing seems to pop up for him to get him out of this hole that he found himself into. I was that boy. It wasn't until one day I thought differently. I said to myself things couldn't get worse. So I started researching about how people conquered their fears. I looked for inspiration in dictators and celebrities learning about how they faced their fears to get to where they got. Which gave me more motivation to keep on researching. I found videos of motivational speeches that I made a playlist on my phone so wherever I go I could maintain my motivation. After that I had to make a plan of what I was going to do what my dreams and aspirations would be. So I got myself a little notebook and took it everywhere. Even on my holiday, I took it with me. Anything that I would want to aim towards, I wrote down in this little book. No matter how big nor small, it went down in this book. And once I couldn't think of any more, I had to start challenging myself. I set myself three goals, work, confidence and momentum. When achieving all three goals at once, I knew my depression and anxiety would subside. I was never confident in my mind or my body. My anxiety stopped me from overeating and I was struggling to reach a thousand calories a day. I needed to do something about it and support to help me through it, so I went to the gym. My anxiety was a nightmare at first, being sick in the toilets, shaking, heart racing, but I wasn't going to give up. I went to a personal trainer and told him my story and he promised to help me as long as I was committed. I kept my promise and I nearly went every day in the first week. Over time my anxiety subdued and things got a lot better for me. I was able to push myself a lot harder and reach higher heart rates without feeling anxious or sick. As a result of this I was able to eat more. The personal trainer gave me a food plan to eat 3000 calories a day. So that's what I did. I got the results that I wanted and I finally started feeling confident about myself. Once I felt confident enough I started on my second goal which was improving my college work. I was skipping days off college saying I was ill but really I was too afraid to go in. I was quite behind on my work and I needed to get myself organised to catch up with the rest of the class. I worked out what I needed to do by the end of the year and made a schedule to get all my work done in time. I was drilling out essay after essay and finally caught up with the rest of the class but I wasn't done yet. It was alright completing my work on time but I wanted to push myself further. I wanted to get the highest grades possible to give myself the best opportunity in the future. So I planned out my schedule further and got myself into a routine of working and training. Work, train, sleep and repeat. Seven days a week. I had to drill this into my system and nothing was going to stop me. It's been a few months since I last wrote in this diary. Much has changed in such little time. I still have my anxiety, but I've been cleared from my depression, and I'm now able to do a lot more than I used to do three months ago. Still in my routine of work, train, sleep and repeat, and I'm enjoying life a lot more. My grades at college have improved and I have a conditional place for higher education next year. My family are proud of me and finally happy. My training is going really well. I'm getting the results and in a couple of months time I'll be biking London to Brighton and destroying another goal in my path. This experience has been one of the toughest experiences of my life, but looking back on it, I've learned so much about myself, things I've never thought I'd learn. Never thought I would be this mentally strong, never thought I would be this determined on something, and I certainly didn't think I would be the person I am now when I was depressed in my room a few months ago. It shows with hard work and determination you can do anything, no matter how hard it can be. Have you ever limited yourself because someone told you you're not good enough? Never told someone something because you're afraid of what they're going to say. Haven't pushed yourself because you're afraid of failure. Fear is a very powerful emotion. It can paralyse you and stop you in your tracks. 
but it's only as strong as you make it. It's all in your head. You can do anything in life when you put your mind to it. Fear of failure. Fear of telling someone that you like them. Fear of letting your family down. All these can be hard to face. But only as hard as you make them. Anyone can do it, you just have to believe in yourself. Start off small and keep going. Use the momentum and you'll reach your dreams eventually. We are all meant to shine in life. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. It's whether you use your chances or not. Someone telling you you won't make it. Or you're not good enough. Use it as fuel to drive your motivation and reach your dream. I'm not there yet. But I'm closer than what I was yesterday. I'm not there yet. But I'm closer than I was yesterday. I'm not there yet. But I'm closer than I was yesterday. I'm not there yet. But I'm closer than I was yesterday.